It's the top five plays from CRL West 2020 week one. Hopefully you didn't miss out on the live action from the opening weekend with literally the most upsets possible. But if you did, make sure you're subscribed to Esports Royale and click the notification bell because the action is only gonna get better. Our first play highlight is from Ruben of Team Queso versus Lapocati of Space Station Gaming. Despite Team Queso being the no tilt league champions, Space Station Gaming has them on the ropes and there's nothing Ruben can do about Lapocati's flying machine. Without Fireball or Poison, Lapocati just keeps getting insane value from his flying machine and eventually seals the victory with one last massive push. Up next is another huge upset where our world champions Team Liquid get bested by Cream Real Betis. Diego E and Uray really show their teamwork with their precise spell timing, helping their balloons connect to the towers of Diego B and Canario. Despite Team Liquid having multiple counters to the balloon, they are able to get their balloons to connect even when Team Liquid have their king towers activated. Our next play highlight is another huge upset. Misfits Gaming, a team that quite honestly has not performed very well at all in past seasons, beats the former CRL West champions with a King of the Hill sweep by Wings. We see Wings with a giant graveyard deck, playing against Javi's Royal Giant deck. Wings plays an aggressive giant at the bridge graveyard combo, which Javi defends fairly well, taking considerable damage but also having a considerable counter push by stacking on his Royal Giant. Unfortunately, because Wings baited out Javi's Barbarian Barrel earlier, Javi has nothing to deal with Wings' Skeleton Army, which basically eats up his entire Royal Giant, Baby Dragon, Minion push. Taking no damage and with an elixir advantage, Wings takes down Javi 14. And we're going to the very next game where Wings takes out Morden to secure his spot as King of the Hill. In this match, Morden plays a baby dragon on the opposite arena side that Wings has his musketeer. Wings opts to ignore the baby dragon completely, which gives him a free 4 elixir to add to his giant graveyard push. Not only that, Morden has his Mega Knight land just a little too soon, and it focuses on the Giant instead of finishing off the Musketeer. This allows the Musketeer to gain so much value with not much health and eventually takes out Morden's tower, ultimately winning the match. And we're already at our last play highlight of the video, and this is our last upset victory. After having lost originally to Chivas Esports in the Clash Royale No Tilt League, Tribe Gaming returns to the arena for payback. Jupiter King takes on Anaban and it's a close game. Jupiter King does very well to prevent Anaban's balloons from ever really connecting, constantly using his spells, archers, and goblin cages with great finesse. It's when Anaban opts to play a P.E.K.K.A at the bridge to obtain more value from his almost dead lumberjack and baby dragon. Jupiter King counters with a perfectly placed ice golem which takes Mama P.E.K.K.A on a hike across the entire arena. This play gives Jupiter King a huge elixir advantage, since it only took 2 elixir to deal with a 7 elixir P.E.K.K.A. It's inevitable, and after a couple more graveyard pushes, Jupiter King seals the 4-0 sweep against Chiba's Esports. What an amazing opening weekend for CRL West. Who would have thought we would have seen so many epic upset victories? Is this just the opening weekend nerves affecting our top tier teams? Or should I start changing how I pick my CRL fantasy lineup? Thanks for watching.